to be time my damies top cat here and welcome back to the channel and today's build is called the freeze pop this build has got great cooldowns across all of our abilities allowing us to freeze all of our foes with ease and pop them just as easy with a mighty flurry of volatile rounds as this build requires us to get in amongst it we got one heals two resists and an overshield this build is all about pumping spears to freeze and shatter all of your foes in the past I haven't advocated for builds like this, similar to the Warmind builds, as your teammates normally steal all your toys. But with this build you make so many Zulu sticks you won't mind sharing. If you do enjoy the vid, smash that thumbs. With that being said, let's get into the video, and it begins with our exotic, the Cadmus Ridge Lance Cap. Now it may look like a bit of a goof, but it's actually quite fun. Diamond Lances create stasis crystals on impact when thrown. The bigger the target, the more crystals it creates. If you eat it a tank, it'll make three large crystals. And these more powerful lances are now even easier to create. Rapid precision hits or combatant final blows with the stasis weapon create a diamond lance next to you. These make them so much better as you no longer have to run after them to begin our ice storm. You're going to of course need the diamond lance aspect. By shattering or defeating enemies with a stasis ability, or a weapon, this will create a stasis lance. Whilst I'm using the Aegis Scepter primarily, any weapon with Chill Clip will work excellently. Weapons with Headstone can also work, but you need to actually get the kill from the actual Shatter of the Ice Formation. But with any stasis weapon combined with a high ability cooldown build such as this, you'll be pumping out those spears. And with these spears on a 7 second cooldown, these make for easy unstops on champs. Whisper of Fishes will increase the damage and the size of the burst of stasis when you destroy a stasis crystal or defeat a frozen target. You're really going to want this fragment as it is the difference between killing 2 enemies or 8 enemies. The Lance is a small projectile so even though it only hits a single target, it has a plume of freeze making for multiple cabalsicles. Whisper of Refraction defeating slowed or frozen targets grants you class ability energy. With our cooldown 4 abilities taking a hit at the launch of Lightfall, even with 100 resilience, our barricades aren't quite 10 second quick anymore. But with this fragment and all the stasis we are throwing around, we can get this rally barricade in under 10 seconds to loop our lance manufacturing with ease. The cryoclasm aspect, after sprinting for a short while, it enables for a longer and more powerful slide. We use this to slide into stasis crystals or frozen targets to shatter them and any nearby frozen targets with ease. And it's also a great movement tool to boot. It pairs beautifully with the glacial grenade. This grenade creates a wall out of stasis crystals that do serious amounts of damage when shattered. It's quite difficult to quantify its damage as due to its mechanics it shatters a little bit different every time. However, after a bit of practice, this grenade is as strong as they come. Now you can shoot to shatter, but why would you when sliding through them is so damn fun. We can use these tactfully to block off areas so you can create yourself a little safe passage to get yourself those heals. And then you can just slide back through, Kool-Aid style, oh yeah. And to keep those grenades flowing, we are using Whisper of Shards. Shattering a stasis crystal temporarily boosts your grenade recharge rate. This is active for about 6 seconds but can be refreshed by destroying further crystals. This can get you those mighty grenades in 15 seconds. But we can push that cooldown further under 10 seconds with Whisper of Torment. You gain additional grenade energy each time you take damage from targets. Now through our fragments we can get our grenades on average every 15 seconds and our rally barricade every 10 seconds. This allows us to litter the battlefield with ice, which leads us to Whisper of Chains. While you are near frozen targets or a friendly stasis crystal, you take reduced damage from targets. This is a straight up must for this build, but with it equipped, it is surprising how much damage you can tank. It pairs particularly nice with Whisper of Torment, so as you are tanking that damage, you are gaining these mega grenade gains. It also makes it a whole lot safer whilst in your super as you are constantly laying down that ice. As I mentioned before, the Aegis Scepter was my weapon choice. Final blows with this weapon generate a slowing burst around defeated targets. And Stasis Final Blows will transfer ammo from its reserves. 
but its catalyst is something very special. Hold down the reload button to activate will given form. This overflows the magazine and empowers it with a bonus to damage and the ability to slow and freeze directly. This is active till either your ammo is gone or your super bar is gone. You can also tap your reload button to turn it off and save your super bar. Word to the wise though, if you're using it against other tormentors or the hive guardian knights, they can suppress you and you will be knocked out of this fire mode option. Now volatile flow in the aspect is going to give us volatile rounds for our void weapons for 13 seconds on orb collection. Now I'm using the hollow denial but feel free to use your favorite void weapon but I'll suggest one that can roll with repulsive brace. As from the volatile rounds we can get ourselves a tidy little overshield despite being on a stasis subclass. I'm also running lead from gold on the denial. So because I'm running both an exotic in my primary slot and a double special build it makes more and more heavy bricks. Picking up those heavy bricks in return feeds us special ammo every time we do this. For our mods I am running a special ammo finder for my double special build. I am also running a stasis scavenger. Again we are running the corresponding siphon mods to match our weapons. If you've only got space enough for one of these like you want to swap something out like a ashes to assets or something like that I would keep the stasis one. It is the most crucial for this build and going forwards into future seasons. The Reaper mod works really well on this build as when we plant down our barricade, get a kill and we get an orb and a lance for our trouble. The firepower mod will also give us an orb on our grenade kills. Stacks on stacks will take these orbs and then double them, all for the benefit of our emergency reinforcement mod. Now we're double stacking these for a 15% damage reduction for 9 seconds. Now this might not sound like a lot, but it stacks with a whisper of chains fragment to give us a 40% damage reduction which is good. This buys us enough time to make more ice, get back our health and continue with a 25% damage reduction. I'm also using a solar damage resistance but use whatever the encounter calls for. Better already is going to heal us up nice and quick and with four ways of making orbs for ourselves those band-aids will be everywhere. Outreach double stacked, this reduces our melee cooldown when using our class ability. Momentum transfer double stacked, causing damage with a grenade reduces our melee cooldown also. As our fragments give us a high uptime with both our grenades and our class item, these four mods will help push down that melee cooldown so we can shatter punch more faces. Anyway my dammies, that is the build for today. This exotic both increases the amount of ice we can put out there but also the ease of which we use it. Thumb it if you liked it, any questions or suggestions feel free to leave a comment down below and as always, tippy tie my dammies, what a tie. Bye.